Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. In this video, we're going to be conducting a fun weekend experiment and the premise of our experiment is going to be to find out if it could be possible to use a permanent magnet DC electric motor like this guy here as a cheap DIY wind turbine generator alternative. And if that is the case, we're going to be conducting a quick research and test to know what could be the minimum RPM revolutions per minute that is going to be required for this guy to function properly as a wind turbine generator or as a DC generator as we're going to be using it in this case. All right, my friends, let's get started. So one of the things I'm hoping to do in the end is to be able to tell you guys if using a permanent magnet DC electric motor is a good idea or not a good idea for an affordable DIY wind turbine generator. And to be able to do that, we're going to need some reference data that we can point to to say this is where we base our justification. And to do that, what I've done is to conduct a quick Google search on the subject. So what I'm seeing is that domestic turbines can reach a rotational speed of up to 400 revolutions per minute. Large scale or industrial wind turbines, on the other hand, the rotational speed can go as low as 20 revolutions per minute. This source here is also saying that for large scale turbines, the rotational speeds can be increased from somewhere between uh, 1200 RPMs to 1800 RPMs by just using a gearbox. To kind of put things in context for those who are new to our channel, the inspiration to conduct this experiment came from a previous uh, video series that we made to show how you can load test a brushless DC electric motor like this by using it to drive a permanent magnet DC electric motor and then putting a load at the output of that electric motor. So by doing that, we call this a DC generator because a permanent magnet DC electric motor has commutators in it. And when you drive that system, so what you have coming out of the motor is kind of a pulsating DC if you apply a diode, which is what we have here, now you should have a clean DC coming out that you can use to drive a load. All right, so as we showed in those videos that this is actually possible, so we got a lot of feedback, a lot of positive feedback and questions about the possibility of using permanent magnet DC electric motor as a DIY uh, wind turbine DC generator. And also with all of that, we received a whole bunch of comments saying that for that to actually work, uh, the system needs to be driven at a very high RPM. So the question is, what is a high RPM? What is a low RPM? I honestly don't know because I did not measure the RPM of the setup. And this is what we're going to do in this video. So the only thing that's going to change conceptually on this setup is we are now going to use the brushless DC electric motor to emulate the driving force that would have come from the wind. And we're going to use that at variable RPM to drive the DC generator. The DC generator is our permanent magnet DC electric motor. This is a 1000 watt DC electric motor at 48 volts. So we're going to see how much power that we're going to get out of this system when we apply a load at the output of the electric motor and we drive it at variable RPMs. So in a nutshell, what we're hoping to accomplish in the end is a way to correlate the drive RPM of the system to the output power of the DC generator. And also we're going to keep an eye on the output waveform coming out of the DC generator at super low RPMs. So that way we can recommend to you guys what we think should be the minimum RPM that would be favorable to a system like this. So let's go ahead and build the test setup. And right after that, we will jump right into the testing.
All right, our setup is complete. So what we have here in a nutshell is that we have 38 volt coming from our lithium ion phosphate battery system and we used our DC to DC boost converter to boost it up to 48 volts as you guys can see here and the 48 volt is what we need to drive the uh, brushless DC electric motor system because this is also a 48 volt system and we're going to use that at variable RPM to drive the permanent magnet DC electric motor. The output of the DC generator now goes through the output filter circuit, which is the cap here and the diode here. And all that DC power is going to go through our digital power monitor here. And then it's going to get sent to our load. Our load here is a 1000 watt 48 volt resistive water heater. And lastly, to measure the RPM of our DC generator, we're going to use this tachometer here and to do that we install the reflective tape that comes with the tachometer at the shaft of the uh, DC generator here as you guys can see it and that's what the tachometer is going to use to record the RPMs. So my understanding of how the tachometer is supposed to work is that it's going to use the reflective tape here. Every time the shaft makes a full 360 revolution the tachometer is going to use the laser to count the revolutions per minute that way.
All right, everyone, we have come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned in the beginning, this was only meant to be a fun weekend experiment. I was really, really curious to make the correlation between the motor speed of our permanent magnet DC electric motor and how much power we are really going to get out of it. And the only thing I can say is that this experiment has really been fun because uh, prior to the experiment, I have never used a tachometer like this before. So in a way, I have truly learned a lot by conducting this test. All right, so our goal for the experiment was to collect about four data points. So at the lowest point, what we saw was that to get up to 65 watts of power out of the system, you will need to drive the system at a minimum motor speed of about 1000 revolutions per minute. And on the high side, for you to get up to 760 watts out of the DC generators, you're gonna need to drive the system at motor speeds of close to 3600 revolutions per minute. So in a nutshell, all I'm trying to say guys is that I would never recommend for anyone to use these permanent magnet DC electric motors as a feasible alternative for a DIY wind turbine generator. And that is really just my opinion guys. So if you are some kind of a mechanical genius and you live in a place that gets a lot of wind energy and you're able to figure out or rig up a system that allows you to apply very high RPMs to these uh, permanent magnet DC electric motors, Maybe it can work for you. And if you don't mind, come back to our YouTube community and share how you did it, share that knowledge. We will greatly appreciate it. All right, everyone, that's really it for this video. I've had a lot of fun, I've learned a lot. And if you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're new here. All right, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next video.